hello and welcome today we are going to do a flip through of the mini journal featuring the hot air balloon and there are several videos of me making the embellishments actually making the picking out the papers and everything of this journal and I will post those in the links to those videos in the comments below so one thing I haven't done yet is put a this book belongs to and I do want to put that in here so we will get to that after we walk through and I will show you how I will be putting it in using deli paper so I will be putting it in using um, coffee dyed deli paper okay there we go <laughs> okay so um, we decided on the red yarn as the closure and I have made this little dangle using a piece from that uh, repurposed or recycled bracelet. This is the end of a glasses holder. So it's the end from that and I thought it being so chunky it was um, that would be good for that and it has the little tag from it and then I made a little big bead dangle the bottom of this is a Don to no David to um, pen like a boutonniere or corsage pin from the wedding area of Michael's and then just some beads and a bead topper from my stash okay so we have a three hole stitch pamphlet stitch the collage on the front and the collage is uh, one of the videos is making the collage um, this was actually my collage for the mini challenge in the challenge number two for the June just do it junk journal challenge and um, the image is from nevermore creations from her tip tickled pink collection but mine got had gotten um, wet and got water damage and so I had it in a place of things to use up but I really really like it for the the theme to this this journal it says if you're lucky enough to be different never change we have some trim from my mom's stash and one of the tab from the crepe paper um, embellishment uh, tutorial that I did or make with me okay so we open it up and I have this large corner pocket here and it's holding a book page pocket um, an envelope that is not <laughs> it's got its thing is not closed so you can actually journal or write in that or you could put it together and put it somewhere else or use it in something else a piece of a time card that I am using as a journaling card and a number 11 journaling card. So I will be coming back and putting this book belongs to here in the front. Um, I added some more of that time card here and made a pocket. Inside we have a journaling card made with a flinch card. This is actually using the flinch card digital kit in my Dear Julie Julie Etsy shop and these are have been printed at regular size um, the kit goes up to the number 31 a regular flinch card game goes up to 15. so we have some washi tape down here um, this journey is actually part of the paper that we used we used a six by six pad and then this uh, is a stamped image that i have fussy cut and glued in here we have another Nevermore Creation um, image, and this is from the Light the Way kit. And I just thought that it was really kind of cool and kind of went along with the old time theme here. Some this is this pocket is made out of the six by six paper that is on the back page back here. So what I did is this six by six page is adhered here. And made a pocket this six by six page comes through here and makes a pocket we have a flip out of the journal 
Now, normally I only like my journaling lines to be this way, but you'll find in this journal, I did do them once the other way as well. This was some more journaling space tucked inside this little lacy heart. We have some of the deli paper here on the edge. I've um, distressed, used the vintage photo and the um, bingo markers page. The little, where the little holes, yeah, this, okay. So I distressed through this and that gave me the, the polka dot effect. So here's my large uh, crepe paper um, yo-yo. It's inside of a little bag. It is a journaling card so you can journal on it. And we had to go to this side because we needed the larger size of, side of the bag so that it would, the book would close better. Okay, so we've ha stamped the numbers up here. This is deli paper, stamped, deli, stamped and colored deli paper. And there is a tutorial or a make with me on that in the description below. We have another decorated flinch card and some Tim Holtz people here. They're stapled in and become a tuck spot. So they still can write all there. You can write here. You can even write on the front of this one. And there he is with his dog. So he's ready for his balloon ride. Uh, we have the girl and the bicycle stamped down here and then some lines that were stamped with a cardboard um, corrugated cardboard and so you get the um, the edges are perfectly lined up on that pretty cool this is from the spring one sheet it's a prize that I give out um, during my live videos and then this is the collaged tags so this is one of the collage tags that I made for this particular little journal um, if you'd like to see videos of any of this, um, let me know. Here's the crepe paper ruffle, and I have glued. It's It was the full ruffle, and I put glue down the center where the seam was and folded it together, and then I glued it to the edge of this paper. So that way you get a right side on both sides, and I was using up the items that were here. So this is a flip out. This is some of the grungy holy paper I call it I'm using the holy grill <laughs> not the holy grail but the holy grill and um, this is what it does when I when I use it it's really kind of cool it has a chemical reaction there um, we have a top tuck that is a stamp collection little envelope and inside I made this little card and you can um, journal on the back of that. It's kind of fun. I did stamp on the on the envelope opening here, like this would be um, where a postmark would go. It used to happen all the time that your postmark would be on the back of your envelope. Doesn't I haven't seen it happen in a long time. But. So this is a top tuck. And we have this little um, rectangle with the heart cut out. And this was, I used my new Happy Planner punch to cut that out. And then this was some of the scrap paper after I made the pocket for the front. And we just added the crepe paper to the bottom. Here's that journaling page I said that I, you know, I don't usually put them in sideways, but I really wanted to use that. And I only had a single piece. See, this one was um, a double piece with the fold. It's from the actual journal. And this was the single piece because the way that that journal came apart is it had several single pieces and several double pieces in each signature. So here is the little flip. It's got, you have a tab here, which is part of this belly band. We have, this is a vintage um, it held lace. You can actually see where the, the last edge of lace was for the last few years. 
It's been stamped. It has washi tape and crepe paper on it. And this crepe paper does, you will be able to see that from the top. Here we have the little dog and he's been glued on and he barely could be a tuck space. I didn't want to um, get his legs or his head damaged. So he could have something there, but he really is not, not made to hold anything, but he could. Okay. So in this pocket, we have some washi tape here and then we have be thankful. We have our paint chip tag that we can write on the back of, and we have this paper scrap that just matched really well. So I was like, oh, I'm gonna use that because it matches really well. So, and like, I like to have a lot of the little things um, because the way that I use my journals a lot of the time, personally, is to uh, write down quotes, write down stories, and sometimes your stories or quotes are a little smaller. This is a six, it's half of a six by six page from the six by six um, paper pad I was trying to use up. And then we have a file card and an envelope that has not been glued, so you can go ahead and write in it. Okay, if you wanted to, or you can go ahead and glue it together. This is our center of our signature, and we have washi flags and a ticket, and then just a couple of little dangly things. We have this heart button and this piece of broken jewelry that's a little swirly thing. We also have one of the swirly things on the little front dangle. Um, so I think those are really fun. And then we have our sticker that we made, and we use the deli paper to make the um, hot air balloon. Some more of that stenciling, some crepe paper tab. Here I have a stamp, and it's actually a Christmas stamp, but I liked it because it is, um, you know, an old car. And then some of that trim that came from my mom's stash. We have just these two, a ticket and a piece of the bingo card for color. We have one of my favorite decks of cards. My daughter got me this and she knew that I would want to use it. So she did get it for me to use in journals. And then we have this little bag that you can put something that you want to keep in it. This is a pocket and it flips out. So this is one of my... Um, fancy folding techniques and um, so this was eight and a half by 11 paper we folded it up we have one side over here somewhere yeah that one and then we have this and this that have the pocket and this flips over so this is a skinny pocket so we put a paint chip a decorated paint chip and it is upside down because I wanted these colors if I'd have been smart I would have put this in that and there probably right so you can do that you can turn it around put it there but okay so this is in the skinny pocket and then you open this up and we have a flip-flop. So that's what a flip-flop really does. And that's because when you do a true flip-flop, you're attaching it to the page that is actually flipping out. Okay. Um, so you see the, that's how it got its name. Now, a lot of times I'll put it on this area here, but this works really well because you still have this area to write you have all of this area to write, and you can write your story across all those lines. But you also have room here to put a pocket and other things. So that is a true flip-flop right there. Here I've taken a scrap piece of paper. I stamped the girl with the bicycle, and then the um, north, south, east, west, the... Oh, I can't think of what that's called. And... This is one of the tags that I made from the time card and the other collaged tag. And they're just set behind here. She becomes a tuck. We turn it and the back of that of her is red 
right next to the Eiffel Tower. I think that turned out really kind of cool. We have our flat paper clip here. It's holding a receipt. There's plenty you can write on these lines on the front. There's another one of the hot air balloons. And of course you can write on the back as well as on the on the page. Here we have a flip up note paper. Okay, more writing space. And also and it has more of the decoration with the hot air balloon. Here, these were um, made from washi tape, you know, a little bunting. A lot of times you'll see on the old school hot air balloons, they would literally have the flags and things around them. So I kind of went with that idea for there. Here's our other time card tag. We also have this heart you can go ahead and write on. And there's our miniature picture of the balloon guy and his dog. <laughs> you know, because there's got to be a balloon guy, right? <laughs> And, of course, he'd be wearing a suit and a really long overcoat, and he'd have a dog. <laughs> so here's another card or flip-up made with the um, deli paper balloon. Some of the words from Tim Holtz. It's either chit-chat or small talk. Some washi tape. The crepe paper is sewn on, and then I have sewn around one of the circles and done a couple of French knots. And that was just for it to be different. We have another, the other side of the 6x6 six six paper, and we've made another journaling card there. Okay, this was 8x8 eight eight paper, and I just folded it up so that it would fit in here. So we have, that gave us a pocket here and one in the front. Here's the girl again, and the cardboard, where we took the cardboard, stamped it, and put it on, and I did show you... In one of the videos how I did that so here we have another grungy heart with some washi tape we've attached it to the bag with the bag with the tag and we have a little bingo card here for color um, more of the distressed bingo circles I put on the edge here two of the pieces of scrap that were left that had the color this always works really well because when you have a more flimsy piece of paper, this gives integrity to the entire sheet of paper. It's really amazing. You can also do the same thing with washi tape by putting washi tape down the edge. But this time my washi tapes were all thick, so I didn't want to take up more of the journaling space. So here we have the other um, journaling from out where I actually took the pages out of the journal and they were too big they would have been out to here so we folded it in and made a side tuck or a border tuck and added this little card here that you can write in um, and it's on a name tag again we see the hot air balloon on the deli paper stamped and colored and put on deli paper and then we have our um, this is the put together envelope so I mean you could put your little card inside there but I didn't I like the I like that you get to see the hot air balloon again so there's that and then we open it up and we have more journaling space and the happy and there's um, the other bicycle the old school one wheel bicycle <laughs> and black and white and of course you can journal in these lines here so I went ahead and left it a lot of times I will use the colored pages like this to deck as my pages that I decorate or that I add a pocket but this one I figured you could still journal on it so I left it as is and then this is the last pocket and it has this um, piece of the plaid it has this little shopping list. It's from um, something I had in my stash. And this tag that we've decorated with washi tape. So that is the journal. And now we're going to go ahead and we're just going to stamp this book belongs to. And we're going to add it into our little hot air balloon journal. 
and I got this stamp quite a while ago at Hobby Lobby. And I'm just going to put it straight down. Hopefully it'll be on it. Yep, we're good. Okay. And let it dry. We're going to use our glue stick. Glue stick has worked really well for, um, for the deli paper. Thumb doesn't work so well with this. Okay, so we're gonna come down and we're gonna turn it over and just go from the inside to the outside with our glue stick. Don't move it around too much because it's still not dry, I guess. Okay. Then we're gonna bring it over and we're gonna add it inside. And because we're putting it onto um, a page that has that coffee dyed look and has been distressed, it kind of just goes right into the, like it becomes part of the page. And that's why I decided I would do this. I had already, you know, put my book, basically put my book together. So there we go. That is our little, we'll go ahead and put this in here just so that it doesn't stick to the other. Okay, so that is our finished journal and I think it's going to, I think it's a lot of fun. I think it would be fun to have and work in and just so you know, it is available now in my Etsy shop, and I'll ho I hope you'll go check it out. So we have several videos of making this, and um, those are in the description box down below. If there's something special that you would like to see me make, please also put that in your comment. And um, as I am starting to, you know, have to get ready for July and need to get some ideas of what you want to see so that I can put that in my um, repertoire, <laughs> my uh, list of things that I will be doing and making and showing you how to do. Find something to celebrate every day. Thank you for being here. Don't forget to subscribe.